Right, so I'm back in a world of Fallout 4 back on Maxwell's Road. So yeah, last time around, we destroyed a pump. And we also met that guy right there, who was a very weird skeleton guy that was apparently around before hey. the war. And he's also very fond of that broom right there. Um, I could think of better weapons, but he seems to be doing his job quite effectively. Or he used to be a cleaner, I'm not quite sure. But anyways, uh, we destroyed that pump last time around. We're also supposed to gather a key and then going to Maxwell's Tower, I think. And then we should be on our way to getting out of this godforsaken haunted theme park. So that is sort of the plan right now. Actually, that was the plan as soon as I got stuck in here, but we're going to try and wrap that baby right up. Because this place is pretty scary. Actually, I also noticed last time around that guy was actually mentioning something about gas uh, to make the killing stop. So I think this place is actually not haunted, but we're just hallucinating. That's what I think. But it could also be haunted. That is one of the main questions right here. The second question is, what the hell is going on with Maxwell? And then I guess the third question is, why do you like that broom so much? It's just, I mean, I got some weapons for you if you want them. I, just, I got this thing right here. It's pretty powerful. I got a shotgun. I got a Mosin I got. I got some C4 as well. Just, just many things that are way better than a broom. But, you know, whatever suits you, I guess. So we're going to go to Time Travel Mountain. That should be quite interesting. Oh dear. Ah, that's no biggie. Just, uh, as soon as it's a roller coaster that wants to eat my face, it, it might become slightly problematic. But these skeletons are pretty easy to deal with. You just shoot them and they fall over. These look pretty buff, though. Shove it in your face! Now! Eat! Eat! But I must say it again, this park is very beautifully creepy. It's got some fog going on, it's got beautiful lighting, just very atmospheric. You'd almost want to spend your time here. You know, apart from roller coasters that might try and eat you, that is sort of a deal breaker right there. Let's see if we do this, and that should work. I'm not sure if it's working. It does not really seem to work. Right, let me get this thing out. Let me just take this thing right here. Now you might want to duck down. Then again, I don't think there's much left of you for me to friendly fire. But you know, before we make our way to Time Travel Mountain, we're just going to take a very casual, slow-paced walk across this bridge that's totally not creepy whatsoever. You know, it's like a miniature version of the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay, it's getting slightly creepier. This again. If a ghost tries to sell you something, just say no. Well, I don't see any ghosts just yet. But yeah, still pretty sure I'm on drugs. This is pretty trippy right here. Alright, just an air raid alarm. Nothing to worry about, just a flying skeleton that's on fire. Also nothing to worry about. And that's the end of the flashback. Alright, well, we've made our way to Time Travel Mountain. And we are once again greeted by these lovely robots. Alright. This is looking very ominous already. Let's just throw this one and then we, uh, just wait for it to work. It does not really appear to be working. That seemed very capable of nearly killing me, though. I'm not really sure what's wrong with these things. Seems like they used to be a lot more effective at killing random things around me. Right, that sounds like a robot. Okay. What do we got to do? That shocks me. Okay, it seems like this is another one of those puzzles that I'm going to be very terrible at. But it's pointing up there, and that thing is shocking me. I think I just got to shoot the red thing. Okay. Uh, that one. Hologram, hologram. 
Yeah, well, that was uh, simple enough. Yeah, I think the task was to shut off the power. I mean, I'm not quite sure how that would have shut off the power, but uh, I'll take it. Hey, fancy pants, what's with all the fucking weapons? You actually think you could hit something? Please, your blind ass can hit the Ferris wheel, even if you were standing right in front of it. Uh, and there's like different endings depending on what you do in this park, so I'm gonna try to not play any games with potentially haunted robots and Maxwells, so we're just gonna we're just gonna try and get out of this situation. We're just gonna awkwardly turn around and just, just walk away. Just don't be intimidated by robots. Wait. Okay, apparently there's two of you. Very interesting. Ooh, that's Liberty Prime right there. But yeah, the gist of that is uh, just don't eat any haunted candy, nor hot dogs. And you probably also don't want to play any games with haunted robots that will try and murder you. So uh, we're just not going to do any of that. And then, you know, we should be in the clear. Food free and okay, so apparently we got to head into the vault. Man, was vault like behind us? They probably were. Yeah, well, we're jumping around in a cave. So far, no signs of life around here. Whoa, dear. What the hell's on? Uh, that's a roller coaster. You know, that one isn't really that scary. Hot coaster toasted. Do you want to jump down that hole? Yeah, I don't think it's a very wise idea, but you, you should go for it. Surely there's something down there. Let me just try something. That seems like a pretty- Holy shit! Well, now we got proof. This place is definitely haunted. We're ready. Well, I'm not. I need to change out of fusion core. We're as ready as we'll ever be. The power's been fucked. And so has the park's mainframe. And as far as Maxwell's concerned, this little ID tag makes us supervisors. We're ready to enter the tower. The question is, are you? I was born ready, man. Now what can we expect to find in the main tower? Cookies? I don't know. Like, at all. I kinda expected the Ferris wheel to murder us by this point. Never gotten this far before. Could be anything in there. Maxwell's frozen corpse. Centipedes, portals to hell. More centipedes. Best to prepare for anything. Right, gotcha. Centipedes. Let's do this. We're right behind you then. Agreed. You lead the way. Alright, well, we got one brother to steal soldier with shades and an incinerator, a creepy skeleton guy with a broom, and a gal with an oversized backpack. We should be totally ready for this. Why is it pointing down though? Never mind. I mean, you know, how bad could it be? Well, there's a lot of centipedes that could fit in that tower. It could be pretty bad. That already sounds like centipedes. No, this actually sounds like hell. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is what hell sounds like. Dear, dear friends, in the day of the night, our four heroes have entered the final dungeon. But what jobs will they find within? Let's wait and And how do you sleep in this place? It's so freaking loud. You see that humanity has gone. And you still want to leave. You do not understand what the game is. They atomized hell. Bombed heaven itself. They brought forth hell to this world. To my power. You don't understand. This place is the last bit of humanity the world has left. And if you could 
continue down this path, you'll just find what it took to keep that bit from dying. Yeah, I mean, if I were you, I wouldn't be so happy with your uh, interior decorator. Especially the fires everywhere. Which seems uh, kind of dangerous. Which is kind of. You want the truth? I die with no But the bomb, the death, and all the blood, it draws me back. There are demons inside. I kept my promise. I make sure Maxwell's world stayed pure, untouched, safe for those with me in school. You still don't get it. I'm not guarding the way out. I'm guarding their way in. Kill me again, and you'll unleash something you don't understand. Um. Okay. Why is it pointing that way? Kill Maxwell's demon. Alright, let me get out something bigger for this. Booter. That right? He means business. Fortunately, I got a shotgun. Now you sit your ass down. Bring your soul to me. You've always been welcome. Now we just stay here. This is a quite an ineffective laser method. Now we get out the shotgun again. Casually reload this thing. Uh, cycle the bolt. That's very important too. Make sure we don't fall into the lava. That's that's also very important. We don't want to fall into some lava here. Just, uh, Bring your soul to me. You always be. I mean, this could work. Let's see, we just punch him right in the dick. That could work. You know, that should work. Yep. And we just shoot his face off again. And then, uh, you know, we try and beat him into the lava. Just uh, a few more shotgun shells. And we should be able to exit hill very promptly. Yep. Right, I think we won. Alright. Not quite sure where the rest of my party oh, is. Bravo, bravo. I haven't had to put on a show like that in years. I must thank you. I have to compliment you on your perseverance. Although I have to say, I am disappointed in your perceptiveness. I mean, really? Spookums and demons? You're an adult, for God's sake. How could you possibly believe that? I went along with that game thinking they were all acting. But you bust out holy water, and it turns out you're in far worse shape than I thought. If you think it was the act of the devil that brought all this about, you're gonna have to think again. Gas? Is it gas? i let you have fun. You made an old man happy, and that is why I am letting you go. But I have to say, I am disappointed. You skimmed through. You were smart enough to dodge my robot friends. But what care did you have for me or the park? None. Just like you didn't care for any of your friends. They died screaming, you know. Begging for old lady Mercy to come along. And she did, after a fashion. So, hope you enjoyed yourself. Seeing as nobody else did, you are welcome to the souvenirs, of course. A consolation prize. 
Okay, so you mean to tell me my companions oh, are uh, a young lady dead? came into the park looking for you a few months back. Looked just like the spitting image of Miss Jenna. I took care of her as well. Just an extra thank you. Okay. I hope you've had a joyful day. We hope to see you again soon. I feel to escape the park. So I, I guess her sister went looking for her in the park after all. And she died and apparently the rest of my companions died as well. Although I'm not quite sure how I could have prevented that. What did I do wrong? I'm not quite sure but uh... Paladin guy number two, I'm not quite sure what his name is anymore. I think his name is Wallace, he's dead. Uh, Jenna's dead. We're stoked. Uh, she's dead. I don't really care about her. But man, this guy right here. I actually liked him. Why did he die? I mean, what did I do wrong? Right, well, Ringo, the lesson of the day is to not go to a haunted theme park. Especially not when the devil possesses it. It's just, it doesn't really end that well. And I didn't even get to eat any cotton candy. And we still didn't really find out what the fuck was actually going on. I mean, was I hallucinating? Was I not hallucinating? I don't freaking know. Okay, this place, we've got a dolphin right there. Uh, almost as scary as Maxwell's world. It's not quite. I must want to fight somehow. There's a dolphin behind me as well. I guess this is their natural habitat. Just gotta make sure we kill the dolphin. There we Wait. go. But yeah, I guess that was Maxwell's World right there, so a very good quest mod, a lovely spooky theme park, lots of work probably went into that, it looked pretty amazing, good voice acting overall. Uh, that Walls guy could have bumped up his microphone amplitude just a, just a tiny bit, so I could actually hear him properly, but aside from that, some phenomenal voice acting there as well, good quest, uh, just, just a top notch stuff right there. I can really appreciate it. I'm just not quite sure what I did wrong. I probably did something wrong, I mean... I probably did. It's just probably inevitable. I never really pay attention when I play these quest mods. I just go where the arrow points me. And usually that works out, but apparently somehow this guy already killed this time around. So, uh, yeah. Next time around, I should probably pay more attention. But it is very strenuous on me. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, and uh, I will see you next time.